we are not ready. Today I am going to the Color Pool Museum. Then after that I'm going to Myeongdong to Style Nanda and to check out the whole area. Hopefully get some street food because I have not had any street food here. Can you believe I haven't had any street food here? That was like one of the number one things that I said I was going to do when I came to Korea. And I haven't done it yet. So we're going to do that today. Um, and then after that, we're going to, I think it's called Hike Our Ground. Um, it's actually not too far from where I'm staying at right now. So I can literally just walk right over. Um, so I'm going to save that for like the last bit of the day. That way I can just walk right over when I get back from the station. Okay, I'm nice and ready to go to the Color Pool Museum. And this is really nice lighting right now. I'm ready to go to the Color Pool Museum and Myeongdong and hike ground? Hike our ground? I already forgot what it's called, but let's get going. Okay, so this is my outfit right here. Minus the sandals. <laughs> I'm gonna be wearing my Adidas again. Um, this outfit I was really excited for just because it gives me Kim Possible vibes. And I think it'll be like a good, it's supposed to be like 60 something today and the humidity is like in the 80s. So my hair may or may not frizz up, probably will, probably will. Hopefully I'm able to get to the Colorful Museum before I'm all sweaty and yeah. <laughs> We're going to Color Pool Museum. We're going to Color Pool Museum. It's actually really hard to say. Okay, so I have my money. I have. Let me show you. Okay, so I'm taking all this with me. My brush, only because I straightened my hair today. My hand sanitizer. My money. I'm gonna open the blinds a little bit. I'm gonna turn these off since. Probably leave that one on because I just finished already, so.
hello you guys i am back home well at the airbnb my hair is so frizzy honestly this is not as bad as it sometimes has have got it eh, as it sometimes has gotten it did start to rain when i was in myeongdong i was like really really i really wanted to try more street food so i need to go back so i know for sure i want to go back to insadong and myeongdong um, so I was in Myeongdong. I could actually see the Namsan Tower from where I was at. Honestly, I am so in love with Insadong and Myeongdong. I really like those two areas a lot. I don't know why, but like when I went to Hongdae, for some reason, I was expecting it to look like Myeongdong, like that whole area. I don't know why, like I knew the difference between the two, but I still expected it to look like that. So maybe that's why I was kind of thrown off. But I do want to go to Hongdae still. That way I can get um, that one notebook that I showed you guys in my other vlog. Oh my gosh. Myeongdong. I want to go there again. That way I can get some. Sorry, I'm tired now. <laughs> okay. But I definitely want to go to Myeongdong again because I want to try the street food. In Sedong, I really liked, but I don't have to go back there. I'm fine with not going back there, but it was really, really nice. Um, honestly, I would prefer to go back there than Hongdae. Like, that's how much I liked it. And everyone always talks about Hongdae and stuff. I think that I haven't been there at night and I'm not really into like club, you know, clubbing and stuff. I've never been to a club. If I had friends here with me right now, then yes, I would definitely go to a club. I mean, Myeongdong and Insadong, those are definitely more up my alley. Um, I definitely vibed with those two places a lot more. Um, I think there are like a lot more foreigners in Insadong. Like that's the most that I've seen foreigners here, like in Insadong. Everyone hypes up Hongdae, but no one hypes up Myeongdong. No one hypes up Insadong. Those places are amazing. There's so many shops in Insadong and then they have like some of the street food there. And there's just so many shops. And I went to the Colorpool Museum while I was there. That's the reason why I went there. And I actually didn't think that I was gonna be walking through that whole area. I thought because I was taking the subway that I wasn't gonna walk through it, but I did. And I'm so glad that I did. Um, yeah, and then I went to Myeongdong right after, and I went to Style Nanda, and I went to a cat cafe. So cute. That was my first cafe that I got to go to. I'm so, I'm satisfied, okay? I am satisfied that I went to a cat cafe. To a cafe in general, but a cat cafe. It was just, oh, it was so cute. I got a late start on today, first of all, because I was really exhausted from Everland. <laughs> And my calves were really feeling it when I was going up the stairs today at the subway station. I did buy some things while I was out and about. It's really cute. There was something that I splurged on. I did not expect. I was like, oh, I'm doing really well on money. And I was not expect I was not planning on splurging on like on anything because this whole trip is the splurge, you know. I mean, I probably spent close to like three thousand dollars on this trip, you know, with everything that I bought right now as well, like included. Um, so yeah, that's the splurge. So I wasn't expecting myself to spend like 49,000 won on something, but it was BTS related, so it's okay. <laughs> I cannot tell you how happy I have been today. First of all, okay, first of all, this outfit was my favorite outfit that I picked out um, when I was back home packing for South Korea trying to decide on what to wear This is my favorite outfit because it reminded me of like Kim Possible I just thought it was really cute even with my Adidas and so I was really excited about wearing this outfit today um, but also I went to the Colorpool Museum and Now I'm the type of person who can pose in front of the mirror and I'm like super confident about that but when it comes to posing in public and I think I might have mentioned this the other day as well but like when it comes to posing in public you know I just I get like all shy about it and I just do not do it confidently there was hardly anyone at the color pool museum um there were a few people here and there but like I felt comfortable enough to pose and there were two girls who were like, do you want us to take our photo for you? And I was like, oh, that's good karma because yesterday I offered to take a picture for this one couple and I really hope the photo came out good. I don't, I'm so happy. I'm just, I'm happy. I'm really thirsty right now too. I'm gonna finish my food from Instant On. Um, I, hope, I hope those are still good. I'm gonna eat them regardless though. So. I got so comfortable posing in front of like my camera in a public space okay 
I don't think I've ever been that comfortable posing in public. I'm just so proud of myself because you don't understand how hard it has always been for me to pose in public and like it sucks because I old, like I want to take I want to have like a variety of, of photos and it sucks because I want to have a variety of photos and I want to look good in my photos you know like I don't think it matters what you're wearing or how your hair looks I think all that matters is the confidence and that shines through in photos and because I don't have that confidence when it comes to taking photos in public, I end up not liking the photos, you know? I mean, I was comfortable in the second room where I was like the flamingo and I think it was a unicorn. I started getting confident there, it was like the donuts and I think the, the lifeguard one and that one, oof, I was so confident. I was sitting on the chair, posing and everything. But yeah, like I, I felt so happy inside like I just felt so happy inside and I was like oh my gosh look at me like I'm posing see it's not that hard so yeah today that was really special for me today I did buy two things while I was in Insidong um, so I'll go ahead and show you that right now Sayonanda was really cool I didn't get to eat at the cafe because they were closed so I stopped by and I got these two big water bottles, which is what I should have done from the very beginning. And it was what I was going to do in the beginning, but I didn't see these there. So now I have them. What I got from Instagram, I cannot tell you how long, how long I have wanted these. <laughs> They're kind of mushy now, but I'm still going to eat them. They have, I think it's red bean paste. To me, it doesn't really taste like anything, but it's still really, really good. I don't know what I used to think it had inside or if it was just like the outer part of it throughout the whole entire fish. Um, I don't even know the name of it. I just know it's like fish. Is it just, it's not fish cake because fish cake is something else. So I don't know what it's called, but I thought I was gonna be disappointed and like not like it because it had red bean paste in there. And I'm like a really, I don't know, I'm. I eat very plain, so I thought maybe I wasn't gonna like it, but I really like it. Like I said, it doesn't really taste like anything, and yet it's really good. There is like a little sweetness to it. It's like, it comes and goes, and that coming, like, it tastes like, that sweetness kind of tasted like a churro, like the cinnamon. <laughs> am, I the, am I wrong? I don't know what it is, but, I mean, it's the red bean paste, but that's what it kind of tasted like, but it was like, it came and it went but it was still good um i also got this one thing it was like this egg bread and it was in a cup i think that might be the name of it too it was like this egg bread and it was in the cup and it was so good honestly because i don't i eat pretty plain i was like okay i'm either gonna like this or i'm not gonna like it but whatever and it was really good oh my gosh you want to know what made me happy what really really made me happy aside from the color pool museum so as so i was walking down the street and then i turned around because there wasn't much at, towards the very end of it so i turned around and i got i don't know what it is i'll insert a picture though of the food and it had vegetables in it it was really good though and i put some ketchup on it the lady was speaking to me in english like a little bit like whatever people are just like nice to me here every time i just want to cry because like i just i don't know i appreciate so much i don't expect them to speak you know english but like it just when they do i'm just like i don't know it just it does make me like i do appreciate it a lot i thought that was my first time getting a street food that was my first time doing that and so i was so freaking happy and the lady was so nice too I, it really made me happy i will forever remember that moment i'm not even exaggerating i will forever remember that moment okay why am i getting emotional again <laughs> i think what i learned today is confidence definitely confidence when it comes to getting street food, confidence when it comes to posing in public, definitely confidence. That's what I learned today. Let me show you everything that I bought. I'm sorry that there's like a lot of talking in my videos, but that's just the way things are here. And I don't want to try to shorten it down because I've tried doing that before and I just, I want to talk, you know? Mm-mm.
I have not straightened my hair in a really long time, so man, my hair is long. I really like this hair color, but I am gonna be dyeing my hair soon. And I won't be able to go back to the lawn for a little while. I already have my next two hair colors planned out, so man, I'm kinda gonna miss this hair color. Okay, whatever. Let me show you what I got. <clears throat> Alright, so the first thing up, I actually got an Instadong when I was at the Colorpool Museum. They have like a bunch of different floors. So the Colorpool Museum is on the fifth floor, and I think I bought this on the third floor. It was like a stationary place. So, this is it. The little information's on there too, just in case you want to visit there. They have the cutest cat things. It was a stationary, it was like, I don't know if it was a stationary place or what, but they had like a, it was a cat themed place. Oh, and I went to the cat cafe today. I guess the theme of today are cats. Um, but yeah, it had like a bunch of cat stuff. And the lady there was also really, really nice. I'm just trying to open it. Oh, I didn't know she did this. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. Oh my gosh, look at it. I had no idea she put this in there. I didn't buy this. She put, she put it in there. I didn't take it. I swear she put it in there. That is so sweet. Why are you crying? Like, oh, I don't know why I'm crying. Whenever like I tear up, my eyes start to burn like so bad. And then it like makes me tear up even more. And I'm like, no, I'm not crying. My eyes are just literally on fire. Okay, okay that's enough crying. So. Um, we, so my family and I, we have, we have one cat, but we kind of have like another cat too, because he's a stray, you know, he kind of like stops by and stuff. Um, he's not like officially, officially our cat. Um, and these were like 4,001, I think. So <laughs> I only got one of like our, our like actual cat, you know, that we own. And so this one I'm giving to my sister. She really likes... What's that cat name? It's a, I think it's Kurt the cat on like TikTok and stuff. So she has like a bunch of like his photos cause he looks like our cat. So she has like a bunch of stickers and stuff of him. So I got her this. I really want to get her water bottle but I haven't been able to find like the water bottle for her here so far. Um, she has like an obsession with water bottles. Yeah. So I at least got her this just in case I don't find the water bottle but I know she's for sure gonna be using this. It's really cute. I don't know if it's like handmade or what. I don't know if this is like handmade or what, but I think it might be. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. I don't know if it is or not because there were like a bunch of, oh, like, I don't know, like they just had like a bunch of different cat things, like bags, like totes. Um, but they had jewelry too. And there was one of like a necklace, I think it was like a heart necklace or something, like a locket or something with like cats on it. It was really pretty. But yeah, so there's this one for her. This one's for my other sister because they have like a gray like tabby cat. And so this looks like her. Like their cat, not my sister. <laughs> but yeah, um, this is too cute. I honestly can't believe she did this. This is... Like, does she do this for everyone? I don't know. Maybe she does. But either way, I really, really appreciate it. It's just so cute. Like, okay. And then the bag is cute too. This little sticker by cat on there. Okay. So, I had no intention. Okay? I had no intention. I had no intention in buying what I bought. I did not know that what I bought even existed. I didn't know that I needed what I bought until today, okay? It's so cool. <laughs> it's so cool, I can't wait to wear it. I'm so excited, okay. Okay. For 49, oh, I thought I bought the wrong one. For 49,001, 
I'll take it out of the bag so you can see it. So cute. It's Tata. They had all the other ones as well. So Mong is actually my favorite from BT21, but Tata is like my second, right? I feel like this is going to be my most favorite vlog because today I think has been my favorite day here. Sorry, Everland, but you got beat. This is so, oh my gosh, look at this. There's nothing on the back of it, but like, what? Okay, so there's that, oh my gosh, I didn't even notice that. And you know what? This donut is actually my favorite donut to eat. This and the chocolate one, but strawberry for sure. Like you even have a chocolate donut here. Okay, I honestly didn't even look at the rest of the detail on here. Like I didn't know there was a gingerbread house on here, but there is. Hey, look at the little doorstep. I don't. It has like a vintage look to it, you know. Look at little Tata with the little sprinkles on his forehead or ear. This reminds me of like Cloudy with the chance of meatballs. This is so, makes your sweet things. I don't know if all of them say this. Um, I didn't even get to fully see Mong's just because it was also in, just cause it was also in the bag. They didn't have one of it hanging up, but like this, I don't, are they even selling this in the US? Like, if I go to the wine store in New York, are they selling this there or is it just here in South Korea? Because this is the first time I've ever seen this. It's thick. It's thick. It's not like warm or empty on the inside, it's just like this. But like, oh my gosh, this. Oh, I'm gonna be wearing this so much. Oh, this is so pretty. I can't, I'm not getting over this. this, is so cute. I'm really tempted on going back and getting mongs. But like I should not be spending my money like that. I cannot spend it like that. But like, yes, I want to go back to Insta and get mongs. Should I? Should I? I mean, I don't need to. Mong is my favorite though. And it was also really nice. All of theirs was nice, but like, to be honest, I really only looked at Tata's and Mong's um, as much as I could with Mong's. They didn't have like all of them hanging, so I don't know, but like, I do I have enough money to? Yes. Mm, I don't know what to do. What do I do? I wanna try this on first. I look like The Rock right now and he has that turtleneck on with the chain. This is so cute. I just put it on what I'm wearing right now, so it looks kind of weird, but do I need to go back and get mongs? I don't know. I don't know. Like, I have enough money to do so, and I have a certain amount of money that I brought with me so I can buy things if I want to buy them. I don't know. I just, I really like this one. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to check online first and then see if they have it or like if I can ship it to myself or something. Maybe by then I'll feel a little bit better about buying it, but like that's dumb. I'm already here. I should just buy it, right? I think I'm good with just this one. It's really cute. So this is the end of the vlog, unfortunately. I actually had a lot of fun today. Today was my most favorite day here in South Korea and I just, I love everything that I've bought up to now. Like, it's amazing. Um, but yeah, this is the end of the vlog for now. I, what am I gonna do? I think I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos. Definitely look through my photos that I have for today. Probably start like, I don't know, maybe not start my editing for today's vlog. I still have to edit some, I think yesterday's vlog, Everlands. Um, but I can start putting my thumbnail together for this vlog. I'm honestly the most excited for this vlog. I really, really am. I know that I don't really talk a lot in my, like when I'm out and about, I do it more of like when I'm in here, I, it, I'm more comfortable with that. But um, also it's just so busy when I'm out 
I don't want to be like talking to my camera and focusing on me, you know, and then like bump into someone rather than like normally I'll just like film a little bit like that and then I'll just like keep moving along. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you like it as much as I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love it. Like I'm pretty sure this is gonna be my favorite vlog ever. So I really hope that you've enjoyed watching this vlog and you know, let me know what you think about this in the comment section because it's everything. I love it. Oh, I love it so much. Oh, let me show you that's what I want to show you with. So there's this on one side. There's, you know what I just thought of right now? Because I saw RJ on here. Have you ever seen that TikTok where it's like when your mom tells you to take the meat out the freezer, <laughs> but she comes home, you didn't do it yet. It shows RJ. He's like, I, I forgot what he's doing in the video, but it was really funny. Anyways, thank you so much, you guys, for watching this vlog. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!